What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Dead Store. This is episode 7. Last time we left off we went through the mountaintops and everything with it. And right now we are going to take on the beast. The in beast incarnate Brock Lesnar who is just hiding in his lair. So yeah, without anything else to say. Follow and subscribe to you guys. Follow and subscribe. Okay, cool. Here we go. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> I got the beating of a lifetime. Okay, we need to dodge the other direction. Surely you Oh Ah 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 Yo we're gonna yo This one's making up for the frog boss being so dumb This is the most deaths I've ever had so far. Ah, man. Ah, I'd need to dodge as she comes for me because it's a targeted roll. Yo guys, we've died here more times than we have in any other boss fight, you know? Oh, oh damn it. God damn it, I dodged too early. Yeah, this is insane. I need to get used to the moveset this thing has. Like, I got used to the backhand. I was dodging that pretty well, and the jumping. It was the rolls that hit me. Ah, here we go. Ah, too early. Too damn early. Too damn early on the rolls. I need to like roll at the right time. Maybe it wouldn't be bad to put the points into that upgradable one. Oh, damn it. No, too early. I was doing, dodging it well. Holy hell, this one's gonna give me a run for my money. Ah, too early. Hmm. 
Mm. Backhand. Oh my god, you don't have to shove your dick in my face. Although your name is Betty, so you might be female, but on you know, this age, you never know. Oh, that's very early you start with that shit. I'm dead already. Started with the rolls immediately. Did I not dodge away from it? <clears throat> we can do this! I just need to make it through her body getting a loads of that. Oh, she's starting early with this shit. Ah, they fucked me over. Ah, don't go into her, roll away from her! Fuck, why did I go and hit her when she was doing that? I would say that turned out better, but I messed it up during the rolling. It opened me. Two. Ah, oh, how did that hit me? I'm messing up now, badly. I'm just messing up badly. Yeah, I messed up badly there. I was doing well in the beginning. I've died here more times than I have in the entire game, by the way. Oh, she started early. I need to stop rolling into a... I feel like when I was staying behind her, she couldn't really do that much besides the back slap, but it's just dodging that back slap. You see? Because if I can dodge with that. Alright guys, we're getting used to the moveset, slowly, eventually.
It's all good, it's all good, we can do it, we can do it. Ah. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I pressed Grand Servax. I need to make it through to get a half her body at least at that breaking stage without losing health. Ah, I didn't press X. I need to do two hits and dodge and do more. No, I hit squares and rocks. No. <laughs> oh. Okay, two hits, dodge, two hits, dodge. Come on, I'm fucking stuck in a corner. What am I supposed to do there? That was absolute bullshit. I kept on dodging away, but for some reason, its area of effect was much larger. That was nobody. I think that's the most we've gotten her to killing her. Ah, oh, I didn't think she'd do a backhand again. Yeah, too early. Too early again. I dodged way too early on those backhands. Ah, uh, early again. Ah, uh, and I didn't dodge there. Hmm. Jeez. 
It's like the ones I was good at dodging, I'm messing up now, and then the ones I couldn't dodge, I'm timing perfectly. Yeah. Ah, oh, I fucking ran into her. I ran into that. Yes! Got her! Whew. That was insane. We gather here today to mourn the passing of Betty. To some, she was revered as a god. Oh, jeez, is that? Oh no, it's the Hector, it's just the head. Um, to others, feared as a wild, untamable beast. Nah, we tamed her. And to a small few, loved as a radiant beauty. After many lifetimes lived atop the mountain, suddenly locals with fur and untimely deaths, she can now rest. Bow your head in remembrance. Pay your last respects. Her time in this world is over. What an incredible adventure this has been. Full of twists and turns, so Betty and the Beast were one and the same. Amazing. That means the drunken guy at the standard sailor, was he in love with the Beast? Well, I kind of feel bad for them both now. Dead or heartbroken, which you think is worse. They're both kind of tragic. Still, it's great material for a song, huh? I'm gonna start writing straight away. Once it's ready, come by the stranded sailor sometime and I'll play it for you. Now the demonic soul's anger quelled reaper may define peace in death. Okay, now I guess we go back to our friend with the big door. First we should be able to upgrade. Welcome to the soul pop. So we got one folder. It's fine. These creatures are so colorful, they're giving me a migraine. Are they coming through the doors that you left open? Honestly, you're turning my office into dimensional Swiss cheese. If I get into trouble for this, I'm not going to be happy with you. Why is that one black? My little friend got into the ink supply. The poor D. Oh, that makes sense. I was like, what the hell? Although she doesn't seem to mind, maybe she just loves the smell of ink as much as I do. Oh, let's go, Lost Cemetery. Let's go see what's behind that door. I wonder if it's an area to itself or if it's a whole boss or if it's just the end, who knows. There we go. You did it. You're a much stronger reaper than I. I could have never taken down those giant souls alone. It is time at long last. Let us focus this door open. Let us force this door open fledgling and finish our assignments.
That's cool, that's the cover image. And now, to the other side. This is it. This is the place beyond, where no life is to be seen. Uh, hello? Oh, is it death himself? Are you death? I thought the tales of the original Reaper were just the mad ramblings of the free crows. Yeah, well, I guess that's me. So if you don't know I was real, that means you're not here to rescue me, right? I know, I'm sorry, we're here for another purpose. In fact, you might be able to help us. Wow, rude. Alright, I mean, what's a few more minutes after several centuries? So why are you here actually? How did you even get here? We seek souls that have passed through death's your door. We are the service-bound reapers. We require those souls to finish our tasks and restore our stature with the commission. Otherwise, we will die. Oh, awkward. If you're looking for a soul here, then you're out of luck. Any non-corporal souls that pass through the door are absorbed into the ether. Soul energy has to be recycled to create new life. That's why my job was so important, not that the living didn't hate me for it. I used to go around reaping souls myself, then pick them up and take them beyond the veil. But it was so depressing. Not for the souls, they don't care, but for the living ones they left behind. I wish I could let them know dying isn't scary, it's just the cycle of life. Thing is, over the vastness of time, I got very tired of that cycle. But then one day, a strange being came to me with a proposition. This being could create portals, doors to any place or world. They offered, the outsourced, they offered to outsource the collection of souls to an automated system using one of their doors. While it was open, it would draw in the souls of the dead a lighthouse of the, on the shores of the ether, if you will. In return for this, they asked for their lives to be extended. Well, actually, they asked for immortality, but that's impossible. If souls stick around too long past their expiry date, then nothing will be left to tie them to mortality. They decay into demonic forms. All life must end. Well, eventually. So while I kicked back, several generations of these self-proclaimed lords of doors came and went, enjoying their unnaturally long lives. <laughs> so they thought they were immortal, but they weren't. Each one agreeing in the end to submit to the limitations of life and go willingly into the ether. Until one didn't. Which brings us to your current lords of doors. Towards the end of what should have been their lifespan, your lord betrayed our long-standing agreement. They said there had been some kind of incident that the door had malfunctioned and needed to be remade anew. Oh shit, so did this lord maybe close the door because he wanted to live forever? So the souls couldn't get in, which means he didn't have to die. For the door to be reconstructed, it re required a touch of death to link the door to the ether. But after this new door was created and opened, the Lord kicked me inside and sealed it shut. No way for me to escape. No way for stray souls to pass onto the ether. No death among the living. I've been here, alone, ever since. But my assigned soul, it must be here. It has to be here. Attracted to this door. It must have entered here somehow. Are you sure you haven't seen it? Sorry guy, if a soul comes in here without a body, it disappears into the ether. Sooner or later, everything that begins has to end. So there's no hope. It must still be here somewhere. No. No, 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 no. I wasted so many years searching for that soul. Decades, centuries. I refused. Oh, we're gonna have to fight him, aren't we? Uh-oh. I sent you a little bit past your best before date.
a grey crow. Oh, this motherfucker just left! Just as I got used to one. It's okay, I'm getting used to it. My dude, take all your shit with you. Got him so close again. Of course, I get hit by that shit.
Every time. I destroyed it somehow. Ah, oh, and I fucking ran into him. Freaking hell, man. That was insane. I can't tell you how long it's been since I felt a fresh breeze on my face. Also, well, anything... You never appreciate something until it's gone, do you? I saw a lot of that in my job, but until a lot of doors locked me up, I never thought it applied to me. Sorry about your big fat friend back there. It was always hard for the living to let go of the dead. Even more of a rough one, having to reap him yourself. I can sort of understand that feeling. Even if it wasn't your intention, you've done me a huge favor here, Crow. But this isn't over quite yet. Because while the door has been destroyed, my power is unfortunately still trapped in its remains. Forging the door required a piece of my own soul, and I need it back before I can do my job again. That means if you want to end the cycle, someone else has to take down the Lord of Doors. Have you guessed who yet? I won't be making any more deals again, that's for sure. Head back to your office and reap your bosses, so crow. And remember, death is on your side. Head back to your office. Okay, so I guess we're fighting one more boss. My fellow crows, we have arrived at the moment foretold long ago. Today, Death's door has been opened and Death themselves has been freed once more into our world. Fear not, for this is not the end of days, but the beginning of a bright new future. The forces of life and death have been unnaturally thrown into chaos for thousand years, and we crows play a hand in that. 
we must right our wrongs, we must accept our fates, we must reject those who lead us into a future with no hope. It is time for the Lord of Doors reign to end and for us to return to a natural life cycle. Even as our world tethers on the edge of oblivion, souls like these forest spirits still manage to emerge through the cracks. Soon a new age will begin and the world will teem with new life. For that to happen, the final hours of this foretold day must play out as ordained. The crow that freed that will have to end the Lord of Doors reign. God damn, that's what that one's for. Hey guys, now we're taking on the Lord of Doors. So we took on Betty the Beast, we took on the Grey Crow, and now we're taking on the Lord of Doors. Three bosses in one episode. Oh, what a special treat this I've been watching you, Yanko. I've never really thought it would come to this, yet here we are. Each one of my kind are created by the lords preceding them, and trained to take over the duties before they pass on. On the day we are created, we are told the day on which we will die. My predecessor, my creator, was a cold-hearted tyrant, obsessed with rules and order how things had to be. Your fool never gave me a name, can you believe that? How would your life play out if you knew the exact day you were going to die? And if every moment of your existence revolved around its ending, and I had to do everything in my power to save myself. I know my actions are not entirely moral, perhaps not even justifiable, but I cannot just let myself die, I refuse to go without a fight. So young crow, are you ready to fight for your life as I am for mine? Yes, sir. So it's just gonna be like a gimmick fight. It's like more. Uh, oh, at least we start with that fight.
Come on. I almost have been. I did not expect that. Holy. No. It starts me over here. I have to go through all of that again. Ah. Uh. This is not that bad. Fuck. The worst thing is, I know how insane the moose is gonna become now, and I have only two hits left on me. There we go. I need to make it here with full health if I have any chance of getting out of this in one piece. This is where his moveset becomes very, very 